Brought to you by wikivd.com. Maymar. Maymar da Silva Santos Jr., commonly known as Maymar or Maymar Jr., is a Brazilian professional footballer who plays as a forward for French club Paris Saint Germain and the Brazil national team. Maymar came into prominence at an early age at Santos where he made his professional debut aged 17. He helped the club win two successive Campeonato Paulista Championships a Copa de Brazil and the 2011 Copa Libertadores Santos first continental title since 1963. Maymar was twice named the South American Footballer of the Year in 2011 and 2012, before relocating to Europe to join Barcelona as part of Barca's attacking trio with Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez he won the continental treble of La Liga the Copa del Rey and the UEFA Champions League in the 2014-15 season followed the next year by the domestic double. He came third for the FIFA Ballon d'Or in 2015. In August 2017 Maymar moved from Barcelona to Paris Saint-Germain in a transaction worth 222 million euros, making him the world's most expensive player, with 52 goals in 81 matches for Brazil. Since debuting at age 18, Maymar is the fourth highest goalscorer for his national team. He was a key player in Brazil's victories at the 2011 South American Youth Championship which he finished as the leading goalscorer in the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup, where he won the Golden Ball as player of the tournament. His participation in the 2014 FIFA World Cup and 2015 Copa America was cut short by injury and a suspension respectively, but the next year he captained Brazil to their first Olympic gold medal in men's football at the 2016 Summer Olympics known for his dribbling finishing and ability with both feet Maymar has earned comparisons to former Brazil and Santos forward Pelé off the pitch he ranks among the world's most prominent sportsmen Sportsbro named him the most marketable athlete in the world in 2012 and 2013 and ESPN cited him as the world's fourth most famous athlete in 2016 Early life Maymar da Silva Santos Jr. was born in Mogi das Cruzes, Sao Paulo to Maymar Santos Sr. and Nadine da Silva. He inherited his name from his father who is a former footballer and became his son's advisor as Neymar's talents began to grow. Maymar comments on his father's role. My father has been by my side since I was little. He takes care of things my finances and my family. Growing up Maymar combined his love of futsal with street football. In 2003, Maymar moved with his family to Sal Vicente where he began playing for youth side Portuguesa Sintista. Then later in 2003 they moved to Santos, where Maymar joined Santos FC. With the success of his youth career and added income, the family bought their first property a house next to the Vila Belmiro. Their quality of family life improved as at age 15 Maymar was earning 10,000 REAIS per month and at 16 125,000 REAIS per month. At 17 he signed his first full professional contract was upgraded to the Santos first team and began signing his first sponsorship deals. Youth. Maymar began playing football at an early age and he was soon spotted by Santos FC who offered him a contract in 2003 where he was inducted into their youth academy, which has in the past produced Brazilian internationals like Coutinho, Claudualdo, Diego Alano and Alex. He also joined the likes of Pepe Pelé and Robinho in starting out his career at the club nicknamed Peaks. While in the youth academy Maymar met Paulo Henrique Ganzo, becoming good friends in the process. Aged 14 Maymar travelled to Spain 
to join the Real Madrid youth team at the time when Real had stars like Ronaldo, Zinedine Zidane, David Beckham, Roberto Carlos and Robinho. 2009 Debut Season Maymar made his professional debut on 7 March 2009 despite being only 17 years old. He was brought on for the last 30 minutes in a 2-1 win against West A. The following week he scored his first goal for Santos against Mogi Miram. One month later, on the 11th of April, Maymar scored the decisive goal in a 2-1 win against Palmeiras in the 2009 Campeonato Paulista semi-final first leg. In the final, however, Santos suffered a 4-2 aggregate defeat to the Corinthians. In his first season, Maymar racked up 14 goals in 48 games. 2011 Puskas Award. Maymar scored six goals during Santos' run to the 2011 Copa Libertadores finals, tying him for third top goal scorer including the clinching goal of Santos' 4-3 aggregate win over Cerro Portano in the semi-finals. In the two-legged final Santos faced Uruguay inside Penarol and drew the first leg 0-0 in Montevideo. At home in the second leg, Maymar opened the scoring in the 46th minute as Santos held on for a 2-1 win and Maymar won Man of the Match honours. The win brought Santos their first Copa Libertadores triumph since 1963, when Brazilian legend Pelé was playing for the club. In September 2011, Santos club president Luis Ribeiro threatened to report Real Madrid to FIFA following reports that they had attempted to sign Maymar to a pre-contract agreement and denied that such an agreement was in place. On 9 November 2011 Maymar and Santos agreed to a contract extension that would see the player stay with the club until after the 2014 World Cup in Brazil. The deal reportedly increased Neymar's wages by 50% to the levels that top European clubs would be paying him. On 14 December 2011, Maymar scored the opening goal for Santos as they defeated Kashiwa Raisol 3-1 in the semi-finals of the FIFA Club World Cup at the Toyota Stadium in Toyota, Japan but failed to score against Barcelona in the final on 18 December 2011 where Santos were defeated 4-0, finishing as runners-up in the competition. He won the 2011 FIFA Puskas Award for scoring a solo goal in the Brasileiro Serie A against Flamengo in a 5-4 loss. On 31 December 2011 he won the 2011 South American Footballer of the Year award for the first time, by a record margin following in the footsteps of Diego Maradona, Romario Pele and Zico. 2012 – South America's Best Player on 5 February 2012 when he turned 20, Maymar scored his 100th goal as a professional football player against Palmeiras in the Campeonato Paulista. On 25 February 2012 he scored two goals, one of which was from 25 yards and created two assists to help his side to a 6-1 win over Ponte Preta on 7 March 2012. Maymar netted a hat-trick as Santos saw off Brazilian rivals International 3-1 in the Copa Libertadores group stage match. On 29 March, he scored a brace against Garretting Guetta in a 5-0 victory. In the fixture against Sao Paulo on 29 April 2012 Maymar scored a hat-trick, with the match ending 3-1. Thereafter he went on to score twice in the first and second legs in the 2012 Campeonato Paulista finals against Guarani, which ended 7-2 on aggregate. Maymar finished the 2012 Campeonato Paulista with 20 goals, and was voted the best player and best forward and Santos were crowned champions. 
He was joint top scorer in the Copa Libertadores with eight goals after Santos were beaten over two legs by eventual champions Corinthians in the semi-finals. On 25 August 2012, he scored a brace in the 2-1 away win at Palmeiras. On 3 November 2012, in the Brasileiro Serie A away fixture at Cruzeiro, Neymar scored a hat-trick and assisted Felipe Anderson's goal to help his side to a 4-0 win. Neymar finished off the 2012 season in style, first setting up Victor Andrade's equaliser, then scoring twice to give Santos a 3-1 home win over Palmeiras on 1 December 2012. Neymar was voted the best player of the 2012 Recopa Sudamericana Neymar scoring in the second leg to win the title 2-0 on aggregate. He finished the 2012 Campeonato Brasileiro Serie A with 14 goals and being voted the best forward. Neymar finished the 2012 season being awarded the Golden Ball Arthur Friedenreich Award and Armando Nogueira Trophy. He was one of three finalists in the 2012 FIFA Puskas Award and finished runners-up behind Miroslav Stock. He won the 2012 South American Footballer of the Year retaining his award and winning it ahead of the likes of Ronaldinho. Reports emerged in 2011 that Santos reached an agreement with Barcelona to sign him. At a later stage, Neymar however rejected this in an interview saying that he had no agreement with Barcelona or anyone else. 2013, final season. Neymar started the 2013 Campeonato Paulista scoring twice in the first match, which ended a 3-1 win over Sao Bernardo on 19 January 2013. Four days later on 23 January 2013, Neymar scored again against Botafogo in a 3-0 win. On 3 February 2013, in the Paulista fixture against Sao Paulo where Santos won 3-1 with Neymar scoring and making two assists. On 18 March 2013 Neymar told that he had a dream of playing in Europe for a big club like Barcelona, Real Madrid and Chelsea. But he went on to say, There's no point in speculating when I'll leave Santos. I'll leave when I want to. Neymar scored all four goals had another disallowed and hit the post as Santos beat UNIAO Barbarans 4-0 in the Paulista on 13 April. On 25 April 2013, his agent and father revealed that Neymar intended to leave for Europe before the 2014 FIFA World Cup, ahead of his last match for Santos. On 26 May against Flamengo, Neymar was in tears during the national anthem. Barcelona On 24 May 2013 Santos announced that they had received two offers for Neymar. The following day Neymar announced he would sign with Barcelona on 27 May 2013 and join the team after playing in the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup. Neither Neymar nor the clubs released details on the transfer via personal terms save to say he signed a five-year deal. On 3 June 2013 Neymar was unveiled by Barcelona after passing medical tests and signing a contract that would keep him at the club through June 2018. Neymar was presented at the Camp Nou in front of 56,500 fans a record turnout for a Brazilian player. Club Vice President Josep Maria Bartomeu initially said Neymar's transfer fee was 57.1 million euros, and his release clause set at 190 million euros. Barcelona's doctor suggested he might need to gain weight to be able to cope physically in Spanish football. Transfer Investigation in January 2014, the prosecutor's office in Madrid began investigating the transfer fee that Barcelona paid for Neymar. The documents submitted to the authorities on request contain contradictory information, 
On 23 January 2014, Roselle resigned from his position as president. A day later, the details of the transfer were revealed by Barcelona. The transfer had in fact cost them €86.2 million Euros with Neymar's parents confirmed to have received a €40 million Euros sum. In the aftermath Barcelona and Bartomeu were charged with tax fraud. 2013-14, adapting to Spain. On 30 July 2013 Barcelona drew 2-2 against Lechia Gdansk in a pre-season friendly. Neymar made his unofficial debut when he came on as a substitute. He scored his first goal for the club in a 7-1 win against a Thailand 11 on 7 August. Neymar made his competitive debut for Barcelona during the opening game of the 2013-14 La Liga season as a 63rd-minute substitute for Alexis Sanchez in a 7-0 win against Levante. On 21 August he scored his first competitive goal for the club in the first leg of the 2013 Supercopa de España against Atletico Madrid, 7. Minutes after coming on as a substitute for Pedro he headed Dani Alves's cross to equalise in a 1-1 draw at the Vicente Calderón Stadium as Barcelona won on the away goals rule for his first trophy at the club. On 18 September he made his UEFA Champions League debut, assisting a Gerard Piquet goal as Barca beat Ajax 4-0 in their opening match of the 2013-14 tournament. Six days later, Neymar scored his first goal in La Liga in Barcelona's 4-1 defeat of Real Sociedad at Camp Nou. On 26 October, he made his first El Clasico appearance scoring the opening goal and assisting the team's winning goal scored by Alexis Sanchez as Barcelona beat Real Madrid 2-1. At Camp Nou, on the 11th of December, Neymar recorded his first three Champions League goals as he scored a hat-trick in a 6-1 win over Celtic in Barcelona's final Group H match. 2014-15, the treble and individual success. On the 13th of September 2014, after appearing as a substitute. Neymar scored his first two goals of the 2014-15 season, helping Barcelona beat Athletic Bilbao 2-0. On 27 September, he scored a hat-trick against Granada in a 6-0 win and went on to score in his next three La Liga matches including the opening goal in a 1-3 loss to Real Madrid. At Estadio Santiago Bernabeu, on 24 January 2015 Neymar scored twice and assisted two more goals in a 6-0 win at Elche. On 28 January, he scored his 20th goal of the season in a 3-2 Copa del Rey quarter-final win over Atletico Madrid. On 4 March Neymar scored twice in Barcelona's 3-1 Copa del Rey semi-final win over Villarreal to qualify the club for its 37th Spanish Cup final. On 21 April, Neymar took his tally to 30 goals for the season by scoring twice in Barcelona's 2-0 Champions League quarter-final win over Paris Saint-Germain to qualify the club for the semi-finals. In May the closing month of the season, Neymar scored the last goal in a 3-0 win against Bayern Munich in the first leg of the Champions League semi-final. A week later he scored both the team's goals in a 3-2 second leg defeat at the Allianz Arena to ensure Barca would qualify for the 2015 UEFA Champions League final. He also opened the scoring with a header in a 2-0 league win versus Real Sociedad, a result which gave Barca a four-point lead over Real Madrid with only two matches remaining. After securing the league title on 17 May with a 1-0 win over Atletico Madrid, at the Vicente Calderón, Barcelona defeated Athletic Bilbao 3-1 at Camp Nou in the 2015 Copa del Rey final on 30 May with Neymar scoring the second goal 
for Barca. With Barcelona's victory likely he performed tricks with the ball in the final stages of the game which was deemed unsporting by opponent Andoni Iraola. Barcelona manager Luis Enrique claimed that it had to be understood that such behavior was acceptable in Brazil, while Neymar himself did not apologize. On 6 June 2015 Neymar scored the third goal for Barca in the 3-1 Champions League final defeat of Italian champions Juventus at Berlin's Olympia Stadion ensuring the club won its fifth European Cup. This made Barcelona the first club in history to win the treble of domestic league, domestic cup, and European Cup twice. On a personal note he became the eighth player in football's history to win both the Copa Libertadores and the UEFA Champions League and the first player to score in final victories in both competitions. Neymar ended the season, with 39 goals in all competitions and 10 in the Champions League making him joint highest scorer, with Cristiano Ronaldo and teammate Lionel Messi in the latter competition. He was the first player apart from those two to top the competition's scoring list. Since compatriot Kaka in 2006-07, Barcelona's attacking trio of Messi, Luis Suarez and Neymar dubbed MSN ended with 122 goals the most in a season for an attacking trio in Spanish football history. 2015-16 Domestic Double Due to having the mumps, Neymar was expected to miss the 2015 UEFA Super Cup and the 2015 Supercopa de España. On 17 October, Neymar scored four goals in Barcelona's 5-2 home win over Rayo Vallecano in La Liga, taking his total to eight goals for the season. On 21 November Neymar scored one, and provided a back heel assist for Andres Iniesta in Barcelona's 4-0 away win against Real Madrid. He scored twice in a 4-0 home win over Real Sociedad on 28 November taking his La Liga total to 14 goals in 12 games. On 30 November Neymar was shortlisted for the 2015 FIFA Ballon d'Or alongside Messi and Ronaldo and subsequently came third. On the 22nd of May 2016 Neymar scored a late goal in Barcelona's 2-0 extra time win over Sevilla in the 2016 Cup. Copa del Rey final at the Vicente Calderón, as the club celebrated winning the domestic double for the second consecutive season, following their treble victory from the previous season. Paris Saint-Germain On 3 August 2017, Barcelona announced that Neymar's legal representatives have made a payment of €222 million Euros to the club. Equal to the release clause of his contract, the club informed UEFA so that they can determine any disciplinary responsibilities that may arise from this case. According to the BBC in Spain the release clause must be activated by the footballer himself. The situation was unusual that the fee was paid to the club directly after La Liga had refused to receive the payment. Neymar joined French club Paris Saint-Germain on a contract that will run until 2022. He was offered the number 10 jersey by Javier Pastor as a welcome gift. Contract Breach Lawsuit On 27 August 2017 FC Barcelona filed a lawsuit against Neymar demanding he return the contract renewal bonus he received as well as 8.5 million euros in damages and an additional 10% for the arrears. They claimed they are owed money that Neymar received as part of a renewal bonus. When he signed a new contract in 2016, the club all also requested Paris Saint-Germain to take on the responsibility for the payment of the fees if the player cannot do so himself. Neymar's lawyers announced that they will contest the case. 2017-18 season 
He made his debut for Les Rouges Bleus on 13 August, netting a goal for himself and also setting up another in a 3-0 away victory over Gingamp. Maymar added two more goals to his tally in the next League One fixture against Toulouse, forming a prolific attacking trio alongside 18-year-old French prodigy Kylian Mbappé and Uruguayan striker Edinson Cavani. Maymar scored one each in PSG's two opening games of the 2017-18 UEFA Champions League group stage, with the team winning 5-0 at Celtic and 3-0 at home over Bayern Munich respectively. International career Following Neymar's performances for Brazil's under-17 team, at the 2009 U-17 World Cup in which he scored a goal in the opening match against Japan. Former Brazilian football players Pelé and Romário reportedly urged coach Dunga to take Neymar to the 2010 World Cup. Although the widespread opinion that Neymar deserved a place in Dunga's squad went as far as a 14,000 signature petition and despite the huge pressure on Dunga to pick Maymar he was omitted from both the squad of 23 and the standby list. Although Dunga described Maymar as extremely talented he claimed that he had not been tested sufficiently on the international level to earn a World Cup spot and he had failed to impress enough while on international duty. On 26 July 2010 Maymar was selected for the first time in the Brazil SAR team by new head coach Mano Menezes for a friendly match against the United States to be played in East Rutherford, New Jersey. On 10 August 2010 he made his debut with the national team in that game majored 18 years old starting the match and wearing the number 11 jersey. He scored on his debut after 28 minutes ahead of coming from an Andre Santos cross in a 2-0 win for Brazil. On 1 March 2011 Maymar said, Being on the Brazilian team is a privilege there are some marvelous players and I'm very happy to be among them. On 27 March 2011 he scored twice in a 2-0 win against Scotland. At the Emirates Stadium, during the match against Scotland, a banana was thrown onto the pitch after he scored from the penalty spot which led Maymar to complain about constant jeering in an atmosphere of racism, implying that Scottish fans exhibited racism, while Scottish officials explained that Maymar had been booed solely for perceived injury feigning. A German student who was in the stadium amongst Brazil's supporters said that he threw the banana with no racist intentions. This led to the Scottish Football Association asking the Brazilian Football Confederation for an apology for the accusations made to the Scottish fans. Maymar refused to apologize or retract his words, claiming he did not accuse any person or any group of supporters. 2011 South American Youth Championship and Copa America Maymar was the leading goal scorer of the 2011 South American Youth Championship with nine goals, including two in the final in Brazil's 6-0 win against Uruguay. He also took part at the 2011 Copa America in Argentina, where he scored two goals in the first round game against Ecuador. He was selected man of the match in Brazil's first match against Venezuela, which ended a 1-1 draw. Brazil were eliminated in the quarterfinals in a penalty shootout against Paraguay, with Maymar being substituted in the 80th minute. 2012 Summer Olympics and first hat-trick on the 11th of May 2012, Maymar was selected for the squad of the Brazil Olympic football team to participate in the London 2012 Olympic Games. In Brazil's first warm-up match on the 20th of July 2012 against the host nation Great Britain at Riverside Stadium, Maymar was involved in both goals of a 2-0 win, first making an assist 
with a free kick into the six-yard box for Sandro's header before converting a penalty. On 26 July 2012, Neymar scored his first goal of the 2012 Summer Olympics in Brazil's opening fixture against Egypt, which ended a 3-2 victory for Brazil. In the following match against Belarus, at Old Trafford in Manchester, Neymar scored a free kick from 25 yards into the top right corner of the goal and set up goals for Alexandra Pato's header with a cross from the right and Oscar with a back heel as Brazil secured their place in the quarterfinals with a 3-1 win. Afterwards he said, I scored and made two assists so for me it was perfect. On 5 August 2012, in the quarter-final encounter against Honduras, Neymar scored a penalty, his third goal of the tournament and assisted in Leandro Damião's second goal on the match. To help Brazil to a 3-2 victory at St. James Park and book a place in the semi-finals. On the 11th of August, Brazil lost 2-1 to Mexico in the final at Wembley Stadium in London. Neymar scored his first full international hat-trick on 10 September 2012 in an 8-0 win over China at the Estadio José de Rego Maciel in Recife. On 19 September, Neymar scored the winner against Argentina in a 2-1 win in the first leg of the 2012 Superclásico de las Américas at the Estadio Serra do Rada in Goiânia, Brazil. 2013 Confederations Cup Neymar was selected as part of Luis Felipe Scolaris Brazil squad for the 2013 Confederations Cup on home soil. For the tournament he was assigned the iconic number 10 shirt having previously worn 11. Neymar scored the first goal of the tournament in a 3-0 win over Japan at the Estadio Nacional Manega Rincha on 15 June. In their were second match, Neymar scored after nine minutes and crossed for just late goal to give Brazil a 2-0 win over Mexico. He scored in his third consecutive match with a powerful free kick from the edge of the penalty area as Brazil beat Italy 4-2 and received his third consecutive Man of the Match award. On 30 June, Neymar was involved in Fred's opening goal and then subsequently scored Brazil's second in the 3-0 final victory over Spain. Neymar's performances saw him receive the golden ball for player of the tournament. 2014 World Cup On 5 March 2014, Neymar scored a hat-trick in a friendly win against South Africa in Johannesburg. He made headlines for his conduct after the final whistle when a young South African boy ran onto the pitch. As security staff began to escort the boy from the field, Neymar intervened and introduced him to his Brazil teammates before they all lifted him in the air during their celebrations. On 2 June, Neymar was named to participate with Team Brazil in the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Going into the tournament as the team's star player, Neymar was the man expected to win Brazil its sixth World Cup on home soil. One week prior to the team's opening match, Neymar scored once and made two assists in a 4-0 friendly win over Panama. Neymar earned his 50th international cap in the opening match of the tournament. On 12 June against Croatia in Sao Paulo, in the 26th minute with Croatia leading 1-0, Neymar elbowed Croatian midfielder Luka Modric after which Neymar was issued a yellow card. Many critics agreed that Neymar's punishment was too lenient, and that he should have been issued a red card. He equalized before half-time with a shot from outside the box and gave Brazil the lead in the second half with a penalty kick. Following a controversial decision by the referee in an eventual 3-1 win in the third group match, he again scored twice as the Selecao defeated Cameroon 4-1 to reach the knockout stage. In the round of 16 against Chile the match finished 1-1 after 120 minutes and was decided by a penalty shootout with Neymar scoring what proved to be the winning kick for Brazil. In the quarter-final 
feet of Colombia while challenging for the ball. Neymar was kneed in the back by Juan Camilo Zuniga and had to be removed from the pitch on a stretcher. A hospital scan revealed that Neymar had suffered a fractured vertebra in his spine, and he missed the rest of the World Cup. Earlier in the match, Neymar assisted Thiago Silva's opening goal with a cross from a corner kick. It was the second time in the tournament that a Neymar corner had led to a goal for Brazil. After his cross created David Luiz's goal in the previous round against Chile. On the 11th of July, Neymar was named on the 10-man shortlist for FIFA's Golden Ball Award for the tournament's best player. He won the bronze boot as the tournament's third top goalscorer and was named in the World Cup All-Star 11. 2015 Copa America with captain Thiago Silva ruled out through injury new coach Dunga decided to make Neymar captain and confirmed on 5 September that the forward would stay on as skipper on a permanent basis. On 14 October 2014 Neymar scored four goals in one game for the first time in his international career, scoring all of Brazil's goals in 4-0 friendly win against Japan at the National Stadium Singapore. At the age of just 22 years Neymar had scored 40 goals in 58 internationals and had become the fifth highest goal scorer for his national team. On 26 March 2015, Neymar scored Brazil's second goal in a 3-1 friendly win over France in Paris. On 14 June 2015, in Brazil's opening Copa America fixture Neymar scored the equaliser and assisted the stoppage time winning goal by Douglas Costa as Brazil came from 0-1 down to beat Peru 2-1 in Temuco. After Brazil's second match a 0-1 loss to Colombia in Santiago, Neymar was booked for handball resulting in a suspension. After the final whistle, he was red-carded for deliberately kicking the ball at Pablo Armero and as a result was pushed over by Colombian striker Carlos Baca who was also dismissed. Conmebol issued Neymar with a four-match ban ruling him out for the remainder of the tournament in addition to a $10,000 fine. 2016 Summer Olympics The CBF had wanted Neymar to play at the Copa America Centenario and the Olympics in Rio during the summer of 2016 but after a request from Barcelona manager Luis Enrique he was rested from the first tournament. In late June 2016 he was subsequently one of the three over 23 players to be included in Brazil's squad for the 2016 Summer Olympics on home soil and was named the team's captain by the Olympic side's manager Rogério McHale. In Brazil's quarter-final clash with Colombia on 13 August, Neymar scored Brazil's first goal of the match from a direct free kick, and also set up his nation's second goal in an eventual 2-0 win. In Brazil's semi-final clash, with Honduras on 18 August, Neymar scored twice Brazil's first and last goals of the match in a 6-0 win. In the final against Germany at the Maracanã in Rio on 20 August, Neymar opened the scoring with a free kick after 27 minutes. The game finished 1-1 after Max Meyer equalized in the second half. Brazil beat Germany 5-4 on penalties and Neymar scored the winning penalty to bring Brazil its first Olympic gold medal in men's football. Both during and prior to the tournament he had been subjected to criticism over his conduct on and off the pitch with several former Brazil players suggesting that he was not fit to captain the national team. Neymar subsequently renounced the captaincy following their Olympic victory. Style of play Neymar primarily plays as either a central striker, second striker, winger, or occasionally as an attacking midfielder and has been described as a true phenomenon. 
He often plays as a left-sided forward for both club and country in the team's 4-3-3 formation. Drifting infield due to his energetic pace and playmaking skills. This position allows him to shoot with his stronger foot to create chances for teammates. Neymar's dribbling skills, tricks, and playmaking ability are reminiscent of compatriot Ronaldinho. His main traits are his creativity, vision, passing, finishing, dribbling, feints, and technique. Being described as both electric and explosive, although naturally right-footed, he is capable of scoring with both feet as well as with his head and as an accurate free kick and penalty taker. He commented on his attributes saying, I'm always trying to perfect everything dribbling, shooting, headers and control. You can always improve. Neymar stated that he has been inspired by Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Andres Iniesta Chavi, and Wayne Rooney. Brazilian playmaker Ronaldinho had also tipped Neymar on becoming the best player in the world. Neymar is young though and I can't explain how special he will become. In the next two or three seasons he will become the best player. Another Brazilian star, retired World Cup winner Ronaldo also believes that Neymar can become the best in the world. Logically Messi is better right now, but Neymar is a great talent who will show the world that he will be number one. Former Real Madrid sporting director Jorge Valdano has also praised Neymar stating, I like Neymar a lot. Many of his individual actions result in a goal, and often it's a move that only seems to be happening with him on the pitch. FC Barcelona star Xavi also stated that Neymar is a great player, has a very good attitude, and will go on to be the best player in the world. However, Neymar also has been known and criticized for his excessive diving when tackled by another player, for which Pele has told. He is a player with a body that can't take a lot of hits. A lot of times he will fall because he can't do anything else but he was overdoing it. He continued, even when he is fouled, he can't make a spectacle out of it. Comparisons The media have often drawn comparisons between Neymar and Brazilian legend Pelé. As Neymar possesses similar attributes and also like Pelé came from the Santos Youth Academy and turned heads with his skill. Neymar has said that Pelé is his role model but also saying, I don't like to make a comparison with Pelé. On the 11th of April 2012 during the celebrations, for the 100 years of Santos when asked by journalists about Lionel Messi, Pelé said he felt that Neymar was better, now everyone is talking about Messi, he is a star. But, to be the best ever, he must first become better than Neymar, Pele said. At the moment Messi is just more experienced. Neymar's increasing reputation led both the media and former great players to draw comparisons between Neymar and Barcelona forward Lionel Messi, which Neymar has commented on saying, Messi is above everyone there is no use comparing me with him. He is the best player in the world and I always get inspired when I watch good football. Ronaldo stated, Neymar is a great talent, the best we have in Brazil. He is very similar to Messi, Zico said, I see Neymar like a Cristiano Ronaldo or a Messi, the type who appears and makes things happen. After his hat-trick against International 3-1 in Copa Libertadores, and Messi's five goals scored in the Champions League, Neymar said, I am a Messi fan. I was told what he did today. I support him to score a lot of nice goals so I can keep copying and imitating him. Personal life and charity work Neymar has a son Davi Luca with former girlfriend Carolina Dantas. Neymar was quoted as saying, I cried when I learned that I would be his father. At first I felt fear, then joy. It is a new responsibility and I am now enjoying it.
He later described the birth of his baby boy as 2.8 kilograms of pure happiness and also said, Mother and baby are in good condition just after childbirth. He has a very close sibling relationship with his sister Rafaela Beckrin and cemented this platonic closeness by tattooing her face on his arm, while Beckrin tattooed her brother's eyes on her arm. Maymar is a Christian and follows the Pentecostal branch of the religion. Maymar has spoken about his faith saying, Life only makes sense when our highest ideal is to serve Christ. Additionally, he has sometimes worn a headband with the words 100% Jesus. Maymar reportedly also tithes his income to his church, and has named Kaka as his religious role model. Each year Maymar organizes a charity match with fellow Brazilian footballer Nene in Nien's hometown of Jundarai, with the purpose of raising food for needy families, wealth and sponsorships. Maymar has signed many sponsorship deals since his reputation rapidly grew from the age of 17. In March 2011 he signed an 11-year contract with American sportswear company Nike. In the same month Panasonic paid $2.4 million to secure Neymar's services for two years. Prior to signing for Barcelona, France football had ranked Neymar 13th in its list of the world's richest players in 2012, with total earnings of $18.8 million for the previous 12 months. He has signed other sponsorships from Volkswagen Tennis P. Acute Barrel Lupo Ambuf Claro Unilever and Santander. All of his sponsorships have earned him a total of an estimated 20 million euros per year. On 8 May 2013 Maymar was rated by Sportsbro magazine as the most marketable athlete in the world, ahead of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. In November 2012 advertising agency Lode Ucker created Neymar's own personal brand logo featuring the N, J and R with the N styled to match Neymar's shirt number 11. Neymar starred in a 2014 advert for Beats with other global football stars including Thierry Henry and Luis Suarez with the theme of the game before the game and the players pre-game ritual of listening to music. Media Maymar was featured on the front covers of the video games Pro Evolution Soccer 2012 and Pro Evolution Soccer 2013 on the North American version, after Konami Digital Entertainment announced that he had joined Pro Evolution Soccer. Maymar joined Cristiano Ronaldo as a featured cover athlete. Neymar appeared on the cover of Time magazine in February 2013 the first Brazilian athlete to be so honored. The issue included an article by Bobby Ghosh entitled The Next Pele and subtitled How the Career of Brazilian Football Star Neymar Explains His Country's Economy. Controversy erupted because of a cover by Brazilian football magazine Placard that depicted Neymar on a cross. The title read, A Crucifixe de Maymar and subtitled, The Brazilian Ace Turns Scapegoat in a Sport Where Everyone Plays Dirty. In April 2013, Brazilian cartoonist Mauricio de Souza released a Monica's Gang comic book featuring a younger version of Maymar as the main character. In May 2013, Sportsbro magazine named Maymar as the most marketable athlete on the planet. For the second consecutive year, he topped the list ahead of Lionel Messi, Rory McIlroy, Usain Bolt, and Cristiano Ronaldo, among other sports people. The list measures the monetary value, the age, the force in domestic markets, the charisma, and their market potential in the next three years. In March 2015, Maymar had the fourth highest social media rank in the world among sports people. Behind Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi and David Beckham with 52 million Facebook fans. In ESPN's list of active sports people in 2016, Neymar was ranked the fourth most famous athlete in the world. 
to mark the World Cup commencing in Brazil in June 2014 Maymar appeared with supermodel Giselle Bunchen on the front cover of Vogue's Brazilian edition. In November 2014, Maymar appeared in FIFA is 11 against Ebola campaign with a selection of top football players from around the world including Cristiano Ronaldo, Gareth Bale, Xavi and Didier Drogba. Under the slogan Together We Can Beat Ebola, FIFA's campaign was done in conjunction with the Confederation of African Football and Health Experts, with the players holding up 11 messages to raise awareness of the disease and ways to combat it. In June 2016, actor Vin Diesel confirmed that Maymar would be a part of the action film XXX, Return of Xander, Cage appearing as himself. He appeared in the film's first trailer released on 20 July 2016. In April 2017 Maymar was included in the Time 100, Time magazine's list of the most influential people in the world. Music Maymar has become an icon in promoting Brazilian modern pop music, particularly music of Sertaneja. The video in which Maymar dances in the Santos locker room dancing in front of teammates carrying his recorder making the round of the players and making them react to the tune of Michel Talos' hit, I Shay Utp Go, went viral. He made a point of performing his dance antics to the song after scoring goals in football games and appeared live with Tello in one of the latter's concerts. He also supported certain AO singer Gustavo Lima performing live, with Lima on renditions of the singer's hits Ballada and Faser Bieber. In 2012, he made cameo appearances in the music video for yet another certain AO hit You Quero Tchu. You Quero Tcha by Joao Lucas. Pais de Futebol by MC Game. Brought to you by Wikivd.com. Would you like to know more?